A lot of people didn't realize, um, you know, kind of the, the, the big jump um, that, uh, that that PHP did go through in, in these version changes. But I wanted to see if all, you know, you three could kind of outline some of, the, you know, some of the big um, jumps like in, in this, it says, you know, PHP 4 to, to 8.1. If you just want to outline some of the um, some of the big things and then maybe even not necessarily some of the big things, but some of the little things that were important to you. Um, you know that uh, that that felt uh, good as a language to write. The first thing that I like to start is about is talking about PDO, right? PHP Data Objects. It's been around for so long, and still people use you know the, the, the old ways of connecting the database. My SQL Connect was deprecated against in PHP seven, and this is like the testament to what I said about the core team. They should have deprecated. They said, okay, we have PDO. This is like the new way to connect to database. We use like objects and classes and etc. So why keep the old way of doing things? And I still see nowadays code that use it. And something that I yeah, always like the first thing to SQL injections as well. Yes, of course, it's very insecure. There's lots of issues. The performance is not good. So whenever I, I, I get like some PHP code to take a look, the first thing I check is that is it using PDO? If not, I say, come on, man, let's use PDO. You know, it's much better. It's faster. It's more secure. I guess this is the main change that I still see people like not using. Yeah, but starting from PHP 4 to PHP 5, I think we have to mention uh, uh, yes, that's right. object, object model. That was the huge change because starting PHP 5, we could write a proper OOP. Yeah, that was that was, I think, the biggest jump because every everything else differentiated from that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and also I think on the later version of PHP 5 something, I think they also in, uh, implemented the interfaces, which is a very good way to sort of keep the code clean and uh, do this sort of syntax check before it actually executes to see if the contracts are sort of acceptable there and if all the functions are set correctly. So yeah, that's also a big change, I think. PHP 5 was like a dark times for PHP because <laughs> yeah. that was a dark time for everybody. <laughs> there a lot of yeah, there were a lot of like friction between the core team members. Uh, they wanted to introduce like PHP 6 with full Unicode support stuff like that. That didn't happen, so instead they they created PHP 5.6. And it was around f for so many years, way too long, way too long. This is taking too long. I'm going to run out of beer. And starting with seven, for me, the biggest change was, of course, they started making object model better. But what they did is they introduced like a release schedule. So since version seven, you were exactly knowing what features will be next version because of RFC, because of voting on that, because of all community in, uh, being involved. For me, that was, of course, they, they um, uh, make the object model better. So we, uh, the typed properties were introduced, the uh, type method returns were introduced, stuff like that. Yeah? But I remember the waiting from uh, in PHP 5 on the new version was like tedious really. <laughs> yeah. I never <laughs> knew when when they will actually implement something. It's 7 was a fresh breeze, breeze uh, uh, in this uh, regard, yeah. Yeah, I also think there were performance improvements as well in PHP 7 because uh, solely by updating uh, one of the WordPress websites I used to own, just by upgrading to PHP 7, made the website three times faster and I, I didn't do anything rather than updating <laughs> versions. So it's a, it's a very good plus. Yeah, definitely. And PHP 6, it was a mess. I, if some of you guys watching never like learn about the real story, I, I suggest that you read it like as a counter example of how not to manage software. No, 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 no. Because it was like the perfect example of uh, a train wreck. And that's why we don't have PHP 6. We went for 5.6 straight to 7 because version 6 was a, a nightmare. Since version 5.3, we have something called the standard PHP library. It has lots of classes that we can use. Like we have a heap, a queue, a stack. Uh, we have like iterators, interfaces, exceptions, and people don't know about SPL yet. Like I, sometimes I ask this question and they say, yeah, so a queue, I would maybe build a custom solution or take a look at Composer. I said, you don't have to, it's, it's built in the language, man. Just, 
just use it. Yeah. Also, I remember in PHP 5, um, very nice organization was formed, which was called PHP FIG. Uh, yeah. And they standardized everything in, uh, in PHP. So the PSRs are made by this organization. Yeah. Uh, the biggest framework creators, library creators joined and uh, established the rules, code styles and everything that will uh, basically be a guideline in, in PHP world. What that enabled was that uh, you could start using everything, uh, every library across like whole your PHP world. Yeah, because the auto importing was the same, stuff like that. Yeah. Is there anything else we want to uh, kind of kind of wrap up on? Because that is a, that's a big jump. I know we we go from four to uh, to eight point one. There's 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 plenty of stuff in between which we did uh, get to. But is there anything else? Even even like I said, uh, even any smaller things, just kind of a quality of life uh, in, improvement for the uh, the language for any of you, even on a on a personal level that you liked from that uh, from that jump. Just curious before to give you the opportunity before we move forward. For me, uh, uh, one of the decent changes uh, in PHP 8.1 actually was the ability to support multiple interfaces as the functions attribute type. Because before uh, you could also do that, but you had to sort of create an em empty interface which would implement, for example, two other interfaces and then pass that interface as the function attribute. And uh, that was not good because you basically were creating an empty file. And now they uh, added the support for that as well uh, by just uh, do, doing the add sign uh, on the comment attributes and implementing as many interfaces as you want for the functions. So that was a decent one. Yeah. yeah I, I love enums. I was waiting yeah, for yeah, them yeah. for yeah. so long, yeah. man, <laughs> using third party libraries, stuff like that. I love this. Um, uh, little enhancements that that PHP introduced, like match function, yeah, uh, which uh, basically can replace switch in so many cases, yeah, yeah. Type properties, of course, to make everything strictly typed. That was a big thing for me. Property propagation from from constructor. Uh, named properties. This is great for value objects for DTOs makes your code way shorter and cleaner basically i remember back in the days you were like you know introducing a lot of variables into classes doing setters getters stuff like that yeah blah, blah, blah. now you can for example do a property a read only make it public which even two or three years was what well, why are you doing this property public you can't you can't now you can because you can make it read only so uh, it doesn't change the state yeah if i had to pick one thing from php 8.1 it would be fibers like my top one like finally php has concurrency now you know lightweight threads of course like most of us won't be using it maybe use a library that is built on top of fibers but it helps a lot and it's amazing and like Finally, we're kind of one of the last popular languages to have it, but now we have it. Yeah.